Today I'm gonna to show you how to write a, a experiment with proper steps. Okay, uh, hopefully by using these steps, right, you'll be able to answer question uh, all the way to your SPM. Okay, so same format uh, apply to all the experiment. Yeah, so we actually had this last time lah, but uh, that was during your first exam, first time exam. So let's do it again just to recall your uh, steps for this one. Okay, uh, so like you want to grab yourself your test pad, so then I'm going to explain to you this. So this is called a statement though, like statement could probably come up with any kind of story. It's not fixed, uh, so it could be anything. So for example, here it says, Ira cut chicken thigh bone. She discovered although chicken bone was small and hollow, but it was difficult to cut. So uh, hollow bone is actually quite strong and difficult to cut, even though bones are empty on the inside. Okay, so uh, a little bit background for this one. Based on your textbook, the experiment is this hollow bone versus compact bone. So uh, first thing first, you must know your experiment. Like, like at least you know, oh, there's this experiment we test with the uh, hollow cylinder and compact cylinder. So this is from chapter six. Yeah, the picture looks like that. Now, question A and B, right? You want to answer based on uh, above information okay from above information from above situation therefore your hypothesis and your problem statement try your best to use the situation to help you out so the first two answer based on statement above then uh, from C onwards the question give you like oh design a laboratory experiment by using blah 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 these are the things that are given though so I'm just gonna quickly highlight that so good you understand what happened huh? okay like first step everybody we try our best to find out manipulated and responding variable that's the two things you want to try to figure out before you start the experiment okay so like all right so i try to find out my mv and my rv okay now uh, the story could give you a little bit of hint nah. so the situation shows that hollow bone is strong oh so we are comparing hollow bone versus compact bone that was the original experiment okay so my manipulated uh, is about you know hollow bone and compact bone so i want to let's say highlight this manipulated in red color manipulated in red color uh, strong or not strong that has to be your responding variable let's just use green color okay responding variable so at least I have some clue here. Lah. Huh? Try to highlight something from your statement that can help. So now I'm sure that my manipulator will be my uh, uh, types of bones, right? Types of bones. Or if I am talking about question C onwards, which is the experiment, then we are talking about types of cylinder from the A4 paper. Okay, types of cylinder. Okay, so my responding variable, responding variable is strong or not strong. How to say that strong or not strong? It's called strength of the bones, right? Or in the experiment from question C onwards, we are talking about uh, how many textbook you can tahan because the experiment originally is like that. We will place that uh, textbook on top of the box and we see how many textbook it can tahan before it breaks uh, or the the uh, cylinder actually bends uh, yeah so that will be number of textbook uh, can be supported there you go okay so we have the real thing to test out and we have the given materials to test out uh, so i write like that first just to make sure my so my backbone of the experiment is there before I start off the whole thing because everything truly relies on manipulated variable and responding variable. Okay, okay lah. So like we have the backbone, we have the main thing of your experiment. Then let's start off with problem statement and hypothesis. Okay, shall we? Like so, first one a problem statement. Okay. Now, problem statement should be a question. 
it should be a question because you are asking a question so then you will find out if it's true or not so usually your answer try to relate to above all we're talking about bones right so we want to say like hmm a hollow bone stronger than compact bone meh you know like usually how we ask the question really like huh so you want to create a sentence like that based on these two manipulated and responding yeah okay so then let's try out maybe we want to add some words in front like are or is a hollow bones stronger than a compact bones question mark there you go if you don't end with question mark actually uh, wrong uh. if you end with full stop it, it's actually a correct answer but because you didn't make it into a question so that is what makes you lose your mark okay so see i'm still going around my manipulated and responding so i try to use what i have found out just now okie dokie all right okay so like next one yeah question b so question b is hypothesis hypothesis there you go okay so the trick to do this is to copy paste your problem statement and change the last question mark to a full stop delete the first word and change it to here <laughs> i said it like all of you doing on your computer like that but uh, um, but you get my point i just want to show you that your answer for these two is actually copy paste but just to change it to a statement instead like okay i am sure that hollow bones are stronger than combat bone full stop okay you'll see what i did there it was a copy paste and then just change question mark to full stop uh, so the very important thing is to first form your problem statement then you can copy answer down. <laughs> okay got it everybody no problem okay so a and b i answer based on the statement i talk about bones all right because from c onwards we had to get back to our original experiment which is about you know effort paper and stuff like that so this is aim of experiment yeah c1 everybody okay doki like so uh aim of experiment it's under c already so you have to answer based on your original experiment with the materials given okay and uh usually how we start the the answer for aim uh, is like you know to to study isn't it like everyone do this since what primary school to study la, to find out la, to investigate la, whatever okay so you want to also include your manipulated variable and your responding uh, no you don't write this here i just want to explain first you want to include your manipulated and responding into the sentence as well so usually we will write to study the relationship between manipulated types of bones and the strength of the bones can also there's so many ways of writing this uh, but i show you what it should be first then i show you the alternative yeah so in this case uh, we are strictly comparing compact bones or uh, hollow bones are stronger right so there's a more straightforward way to write is this to compare the strength of hollow bones and compact bones okay uh, so this is uh, a more straightforward one but i give you alternative you can also do the normal one like to study the relationship between the types of bones and the strength of bones but this one because i write type of bones right it's not so specific like this one it's straightforward hollow bones and combat bones isn't that more straightforward but both are applicable la. yeah doesn't matter so uh these are your manipulated 
strengths is your responding. Does that make it even more like messier? <laughs> okay, I hope you can understand from, from that. Uh, there you go. Okay. Uh, uh, or sometimes you can also go for to study the effect. So there's quite a few methods uh, to study the effect of manipulated on responding variable. It's always responding and manipulated together in this sentence. So can you see so far, right? I'm using manipulated and responding to form sentences. So can you see how important the first thing you have to find out your manipulated and responding based on the statement given, try your best. Okay, cool, no problem. Okay, fine, boom. Let's get to C2. C2s are all the variables. Let's write all of them first. Manipulated variable uh, responding. Constant variable. Okay, there you go. So uh, that's the very first thing we find out, right? Actually, we got answer already. Just copy in here. So type of cylinder I would like to write because I am at C now, which I have to refer to my original experiment, which I use like you know A for paper la, this and that to make cylinder la. So I'm gonna use that. And my responding, I'm gonna copy paste this. Because memang we will place the number of books and see how many books that it can take or it can tahan. Okay, so your question is if I write this one can uh, if I write exactly this one strength or bone, type or bone, uh, can or so lah. But uh, remember the best way is to follow what is given here. Okay, so bam, there you go everybody. This is red color. This is green color. Is that very annoying to your eyes? <laughs> nah, no matter. I think you guys are okay, right? Okay, there you go, everybody. Oh, how about my constant variable? Okay, constant variable must be things that are fixed. Lah. If we refer back to your original experiment, you see, no matter which one, compact or hollow, things will be fixed. There's two, number one, do you see that their height is the same, same height? Because the taller it is, the less stable it is, then you know, uh, it doesn't uh, tahan as much textbook. Uh, the second thing is how wide the cylinder is, the diameter of the cylinder, even that is your tech, what your textbook says. Uh, see, there you go, length and diameter. Yeah, so things must be uh, fixed and uh, measurable like if your answer doesn't start with like the length of the diameter of the size of the mass of then 99.99% should be wrong on uh. okay uh, so remember it must be the words that are measurable okay so the I don't need the lah, straight away length of length of the cylinder or diameter meter of the cylinder okay constant variable there you go okay like next will be number three the part that you all like the most <laughs> procedure you have to draw and explain the steps i know i know i know okay relax guys try your best we have methods to solve isn't it so like uh you need to draw lah, basically try your best to draw if you cannot never mind okay but uh for the time being i'm just gonna copy from your textbook and you shall make space for writing i don't know um how big your drawing is just try to skip a maybe six to eight lines can you all skip eight to six to eight lines Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that, yeah. So you want to skip some lines so that you can write the steps with me. Okay, so yeah, the drawing memang from textbook one, you have to refer to your textbook and try to remember the drawing. Since you are still at form four, I think your ex your your experiments are not too many yet, so you still can manage to squeeze the picture into your brain but when you go to form 5 i know there's a lot of experiment all together then just try your best to remember the picture lah 
okay so uh no pressure no pressure okay so draw later lah. you'll skip about six to eight lines okay i'm gonna start with the sentence yeah so for this one ah, there's a way to remember uh, and also try to write lah. so it's called the r mod okay so it's called a m o r t okay so it will be this okay i try to put beside first yeah okay so number one a stands for apparatus so you want to mention something about apparatus so it's like a standard sentence to memorize okay the apparatus setup is shown as the diagram above i think this one quite familiar lah. we always start like that one so this will be like a standard start uh, starting for all experiment no marks for this but this is a package lah. <laughs> so you want to make that into step number one okay so the a stands for apparatus uh, i highlight for you okay number two number two has to be m uh. M stands for manipulated. Okay, M stands for manipulated. All right. Okay, like you're done now. Huh? Now, uh, you want to try your best to mention manipulated. Your manipulated is what? Uh? Refer here, huh? or type of cylinder. Okay, you want to try your best to say like, oh, I, I roll the A4 paper. Yeah, I roll the A4 paper. Huh? Uh, 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 into hollow cylinder and then uh, put un on put under a box cover you know something like you just want to try your best to mention then if teachers see like oh okay you mentioned your manipulator okay i'll give you marks i don't have to be too fancy just try your best to illustrate and and uh, explain what is happening so see i didn't memorize textbook i don't know exactly what the step is so i i'm just using my own way or my own english to write out yeah so i will say like uh, roll the a4 papers into four hollow cylinders and stick onto the box cover by using cellophane tape Ah, something like that. I just want to make my own story, but at least I know that huh, I'm mentioning my manipulated variables. Ah, then got marks. Huh? Don't have to be like perfect sentence. Huh? Just try to mention that. Okay. Like then we go to number three, everybody. Okay, Duki. Right, number three. Uh, number three will be O. O stands for observation. Like I want to try my best to to describe what I observe. What are we doing here is we are placing textbook on top of the hollow cylinder and see how many textbook it takes to bend the legs. Uh, so you want to sort of talk about that. Uh, let's see what can we write. Um, um, place textbook, place textbook one by one on top of the cover and um not and uh, i think on top of the cover until okay place textbook wait uh, let me see what i should find. okay so number three uh, Place textbook one by one on top of the cover until the cylinder bends. Bends. Uh, something like that. Okay. Or the paper roll out or the cylinder bends. Okay. So at least I mentioned about my observation, you know, bends or place textbook one by one until. Okay. I'll just highlight this. Okay. Place textbook one by one on top of the cover until the cylinder paints. Okay, number four, everybody. Okay, all good. Um, number four is R, right? What is R though? R stands for repeat. Okay, repeat. So I want to repeat the experiment by using another uh, 
compact paper roll. Okay, because I have to write. You want to one shot mention A and B together also can one, but it's up to you lah. Huh? I I just so used to my R mod, so I want to just relieve or to show you how we use the all the alphabets. So R stands for repeat. Huh? So repeat the experiment. Experiment by using compact cylinder. Uh, so I have the word repeat. This applies to any experiment, like repeat the experiment by using a uh, hydrochloric acid, you know, that kind. Yeah. So, fine. Then we go to number five. Okay. Number five, what is T? T stands for tabula tabulation or table. That means we want to record the, uh, the answers or record the results onto the table below. So it's like a fixed sentence or so. Lah. Okay, so like the results are collected and tabulated as the table below Datas are collected and tabulated means I collect the data like how many books it takes to ban then I put it into a table below so it's like a fixed sentence to memorize lah. yeah uh, so I would have it as a T tabulated actually up to you huh, this is something I just create uh, to memorize you can also make it as result also the results are collected and table then there will be M O M A M O R R A M O R A double R, uh, up to you lah. You know it's just mnemonics. Okay, cool. There you go. So that's like a, at least a way to help you out to write something lah. Uh, don't feel helpless. Uh, don't feel like uh, there's there's this part is just, you know, purely uh, uh difficult. Uh, I I'm gonna skip this four marks. But at least now we have something to help you out. You can use this method to, to answer lor. Uh, better than nothing lah. Huh? Cause there's no point to memorize all the steps. There's so many experiment from form four to form five. So don't do that. Okay, cool. Maybe I should now write the whole thing for you. Okay. Uh, pair. A pair. With this. Apparatus uh, manipulated observation repeat tabulated. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, so probably it should sound this way. So A M O R T tabul. Tabulated. Sorry for the typo. Okay, uh, I hope this helped. Uh, they don't feel too helpless. Like, oh, don't know what to do. Just skip. Just skip. A lot of people skip because, uh, you know, you just give up this part. So, uh, yeah, try to help to answer. Huh? At least you get some marks. So this part gives you four marks though. If you can get about two marks, I also think it's good enough. Uh. Two marks out of four, I think that's reasonable. Okay, so then down to the last part, which is number four. Tabulation of data. Right, isn't that? Uh, for, yeah, yeah, tabulation of data. Okay, like tabulation of data. It means draw table. Okay, draw table. So, uh, now to be exact, we want to refer to your textbook a bit. It looks like that. Um, three times two, three uh, three row times two column. Okay, so three times two. So you draw with your ruler. Yeah, three times two. Bam, everybody. Okay, <laughs> short card. Um, the left side will be types of cylinders. The right side will be numbers of text book. To be supported before cylinder bands. I, I just want to add on uh, to make it sound better. But uh, both of these is exactly your manipulator and responding, guys. Don't panic. 
don't panic it's the same thing just copy it down this will be your manipulated which is red in color this is your responding which is green in color okay ah then uh, this will be hollow cylinder this will be compact cylinder okay and no answer for this yeah leave it blank because we don't know the answer uh, you don't have to write because your your marks does not come from the numbers or the result your marks comes from this one these two types of cylinder you're manipulated and responding this is where your one mark comes from ladies and gentlemen okay can i can i mm, there you go so that would be sort of your complete experiment this is how it looks like everybody okay now i have a lot of red color highlights and green color highlights i just want to show you how important your manipulated variable and responding variable is in an experiment that's like the the soul the backbone of it isn't it so that's why your first step must be correct you know find out your manipulated and responding then your life will be a lot easier these 10 marks is not so difficult after all okay like joma so essay is your question 12 and 13 essays are just long answering question or i should say one question is about 12 marks yeah so nothing fancy about that right uh, you don't have to write like really essay like one day then a story story no it's just because there's a lot of marks in one question and you have to answer just uh, based on what you have studied so for example let's just take an example from here okay uh so this is question about asking about hydrostatic skeleton okay so what is hydrostatic skeleton that's your first question second question give an example of land and aquatic animals that's it so uh, on your paper maybe the next page you will just answer straight away like that a what is hydrostatic or well, this one straight from your textbook lah, uh, or my notes lah. hydrostatic uh, skeletons uh, are, are animals with soft body which they have uh, this one muscular wall that enclose the body cavity that is filled with the fluid so i think this could be a very good answer okay can can so maybe i'm just gonna use this okay and i write hydrostatic skeleton we will answer the next one uh, so it's just like that straight away there's nothing no specific format uh, just answer what question asked accordingly okay so the next thing is asking for examples right examples of land animal and aquatic animal that is hydrostatic yeah? okay so land animal anything that lives on land soft soft one uh, no no like hard bones one of course everyone knows earthworm right example or what else caterpillar that you can think of okay so aquatic aquatic animal aquatic animals that are uh, that are soft there's no like hard bones no shell no nothing soft soft uh, jellyfish isn't it okay uh, what else starfish hydrostatic starfish up to you lah huh? Then, like that two marks liao because the first one is to answer the definition second mark you must give two examples uh, to get uh, one mark so to total that will be two marks to answer a uh, like that lor. so essay questions uh, will truly prove or show whether you study or not <laughs> this one no choice though it's whether you study or not okay right three differences between hydrostatic skeleton and exoskeleton okay hydrostatic versus exo b everybody okay you need three well the best way to do differences is to draw table i kid you not like serious one draw table okay hydrostatic and exoskeleton Hydrostatic skeleton and 
exoskeleton. Is it exoskeleton? Yeah, correct. And then you need three differences between both of them. Okay. Uh, so I show you how. Uh, okay, of course you're not gonna write yes, no, good, bad, strong, weak. We want to like sort of form some sentence uh, to explain. So hydrostatic skeleton. Okay. So hydro static skeleton uh, flexible maybe like that <laughs> actually you can just write the word flexible but i, I just want i just want to make myself feel more secure so i do like a sentence but actually you can just write flexible okay um then the other one is opposite of uh, exoskeleton is how uh, the shell is fixed one that's why they have to keep changing the shell they have to keep molding they have to keep going through egg disease right for like animals with uh, like insects with hard shells or hard skeleton outside so that is called rigid uh, cannot move uh, cannot change one uh, you have to remove the whole thing ah uh, like that okay, no. <laughs> okay like what else um hydrostatic skeleton actually is to because it's soft uh, so it, it doesn't really protect your internal stuff right so for soft soft like earthworms there's no protection on their uh, internal organs uh. okay so therefore i think this one we say uh, only support the body and movements okay but for this one support uh, the body and pro protection to internal organs uh, that means i'm trying to say one does not provide protection uh, to internal organs okay then the other one actually provides uh, protection to internal organs okay the third one um uh, worms are uh, basically is the muscle on the outside the juice the skeleton on the inside right but for exoskeleton the hard shell the skeleton on the outside the muscles on the inside so it's the other way around yeah okay so how do we say that we will write uh the muscle surrounded by skeleton right for uh, uh sorry it's the other way around it should be the muscle surround the skeleton or the skeleton surrounded by the muscle okay the muscle surround the skeleton okay so this is the other way around the hard shell is outside okay the skeleton surround the muscle i mean you know, think about bees think about ants think about um spider centipede the hard shell is outside protects the muscle inside okay can can okay so that is the three differences we have ah, like that draw table that's the best to give you full marks because easier to look at uh easier to find points you don't have to like explain long long that doesn't help okay so do it this way okay all good shall we do the question c okay like Grandmother has been complaining knee uh, pain of her knee pain in her knee when she walking she's walking down the stairs. So based on your knowledge, explain the possible cause why she gets uh, this problem, uh, uh, and then suggest what she can do to reduce the pain. Okay, sounds like a doctor now, right? Okay, first thing first, you know what is this called knee pain? What? So I have to study one uh, huh? so like we refer a bit to the notes so knee pain uh, all people uh, usually have this issue right okay so uh, okay so knee pain is what liao, uh? knee pain knee pain oh there you go knee pain it's actually under arthritis so the problem is arthritis the name of the problem uh, the, the health problem is called arthritis what is the cause what possible cause that's because when we grow old uh, your synovial fluid actually decreases uh, that causes degeneration of the joint you know the juice the fluid between your 
your bones that helps to like uh, give support and lubricate the whole thing but now when we grow old it gets lesser so there's like friction between the bones that's why it makes it pain it causes pain so actually the problem is degeneration of the joint decreased production of synovial fluid okay so like five marks first two marks number one we will say that is actually got arthritis okay the health problem is arthritis okay did i spell it correctly arthritis okay full stop second point what are the costs so the cause is due to degeneration okay this is due to the degenerate degeneration of the joints okay two marks there yeah three four or five you have to explain how to solve the problem honestly your textbook cannot find how to solve uh, arthritis uh. not much information about that okay because it's due to old age uh, this one will be right okay imagine your grandma tell you are you a boy my knee are uh, very pain uh. what, what would you suggest <laughs> what would you suggest i think the more straightforward things to to suggest is like you know old people try not to walk so much you want to rest the knee okay can so uh we would say uh advice so this is your three four and five marks yeah three uh advice to your grandma so advice grandmother to uh to maybe uh, uh rest more and reduce movement on the knee you know try to rest more huh? you need time for recovery yeah okay what else can we suggest maybe you know uh, if it's too bad you want to look for a doctor to maybe take medicine okay can I? okay to seek uh advice from doctor and take medication to stop the pain you know maybe okay these are more towards like logical stuff like, uh, but don't try to go like too crazy to answers that are too crazy okay can can okay um the last last uh, suggestion you can give to old people is to go through knee surgery but not so suitable for old people because like, old they are right the risk is higher but nonetheless is something that is possible to do okay so undergo surgery uh, to replace the joints with artificial joints which made of plastic uh, and metals like uh, you'll see before uh, huh? some people just replace the whole knee with like metal uh, so there you go these are the three marks for advised and that is the first and the second mark maybe this one i think want to add on more right this is due to degeneration of the uh of the joint uh rubbing of the joints of the bones in the joints causing the pain uh, i think that one more like more complete lah. more complete okay so here in total five marks so if you ask me how to answer essay this is how basically you answer don't have to continue sentence and then make it sounds like an essay just just full stop go to your next line and answer full stop go to your next line I'm not doing point forms if you're thinking isn't this isn't this point form. i'm not doing point form. i'm doing proper sentences but it's just more organized way yo so this is five marks everybody okay uh, this one my study one uh, obviously what what we did in this abc is something you need to study you cannot go by formatting one okay uh, can uh. <laughs> okay so ladies and gentlemen i guess that's it for today Peace guys, I'll see you again, bye.